She just felt so guilty that she felt this way about her engagement ring. I just had this really interesting conversation with a past client who recently got engaged several years ago, but a lot of her friends now are getting engaged and they have these large lab rooms on their fingers for the same price as her one carat. But she was the first in her group of friends to get engaged, so her ring does look noticeably smaller next to their three, four carat diamond rings. There's been this interesting conversation amongst jewelry retailers there's this influx of these larger three, four, five carat lab grown diamonds that are on these 20 and 30 year old fingers. I mean, the women who were proposed to with a ring just two or three years ago, when lab growns hadn't made quite a splash, their ring does look noticeably smaller next to their friends' rings. They're just, they're kind of feeling a little bit left out. Now I'm sure in the comment section, I'm going to hear a lot about this and how it's not about the size. And I completely am in line with the thought that this ring is about what it represents. And if you've watched any of my videos, you will understand that. But really, I just thought that this could be a social commentary on the situation because right now, lab grown diamonds have taken over the jewelry industry and it's fascinating to watch. And jewelers are talking about this and consumers are talking about this. And on one hand, there's a conversation about what's right, another conversation about the value of them. Then there's this interesting piece that is really timely about the women who just got engaged a year or two ago, and then the women who are getting engaged now, and how that changes what is being put on their finger during that engagement. Consumers are marketed to with the latest products. And so if you're seeing a specific type of ring over and over and over, and then your friends start wearing those, it's kind of hard not to feel that thought of, oh, I kind of wish that I had that size. So new ring buyers are kind of like kids in the candy store right now with these three, four, five carat diamonds being priced what they are. From my perspective as a diamond setter who makes custom diamond rings, one diamond isn't better than the other in terms of an engagement ring. They simply have a different origin story because I'm gonna make a gorgeous custom setting for it either way, no matter where it came from, the earth or in a lab. For me personally, I proudly wore a smaller diamond on my finger when we got engaged. I mean, we were teenage sweethearts and we worked with what we had at the time. And then over time, 15 years later, I got an upgrade on my ring and uh, you know, it made sense because usually there's this natural progression when it comes to an engagement ring, marking where you are financially at that time, at that place in your life as a couple. And then years later down the line, if you've established your careers, then there, there's just this natural progression of getting an upgrade later if you want that. So for my 15 year anniversary, we were both at a different place in our lives. My business was established, his career was established, and it just made sense at that time. And that is typical for what we see, this natural progression. Oftentimes I get women reaching out from a 10 year anniversary, 20, 30 year anniversary, and they, they say, it's time. I raised my kids, I want to focus on something for me now. And I hear this story all the time, and this is this beautiful collaboration on creating her dream ring at that point in time. But what's happening right now with these lab grounds is usually there's no room for upgrades when you have a, a four carat diamond. I mean, three, four carat, five carat even. I mean, how much bigger can you go? I suppose Kim Kardashian could say, well, there's always an eight or nine, 10 carat diamond to go for. But there becomes this point where someone who is wearing their ring every day, they're not gonna want an eight or nine or 10 carat rock on their finger. So what's happening now in the marketplace is just this fascinating discussion. There's really no right or wrong. And I know in the comment section, I'm gonna get a lot of people saying it's it's about the, the thought behind it. It's not about the size. And I 100% understand that and am in line with that thought process. If you've seen any of my videos, you understand that from a maker's perspective, making this very symbolic piece, I get it. But I just wanted to have a conversation about this very specific period of time for women who got engaged a year or two ago, and now they're get, they're seeing all their friends get engaged with these three and four carat diamonds. In the past, when a group of girlfriends would get married within a five year window, there was a relatively similar size range, but now we're seeing one carat diamonds next to three, four, sometimes five carat diamonds on 20 and 30 year old fingers. And so that is really interesting and something that we've never seen 
in this time period. It's impossible to ignore the amount of sparkle on these fingers, right? I just need to point out though that this is not a debate about what's right or wrong or pitting one origin of a diamond's existence against the other. It's, it's really just an interesting social situation that I've noticed. So what's relevant about this particular client is that she actually felt really embarrassed about how she felt because she's not someone who's superficial. She's actually, she's just the nicest, kindest, sweetest person and she, was really just having this conversation with me. It wasn't about, I hate my ring, it's too small. She, it wasn't about that at all. It was really just about, gosh, I'm seeing all these huge rings and I, they're just so beautiful and sparkly and huge. And you know, she didn't want to hurt her husband's feelings because she knows how much thought and care he put into making this one symbolic ring for her. And so it wasn't anything about not loving what her ring represented. It was really just seeing this bright sparkly thing on all of her friends rings. You know, it's funny because I always tell my three young kids, I say, you get what you get, you don't throw a fit uh, whenever they want all these different things. But you know what? We want what we want. Even when I say that to my kids, they still wish they had what it is that they're, they're not getting. And so that's just human nature. And I just want to point out that if you have that feeling, it doesn't make you a bad person. It honestly doesn't even make you superficial. It literally just means you're human. You saw something that caught your eye and you thought, ooh, I kind of like that. Now there are some things to consider when it comes to a three, four, five carat diamond, such as, is she gonna feel comfortable wearing that size? Because some women, they just, they don't want something that's gonna be uh, just so top heavy and just so much on their finger. They want something very classic and pared down and something that's not gonna be catching on things. And another thing is when it comes to catching on things is the height of the diamond. The bigger the carat weight is, the deeper it's going to be. So it's gonna to have to sit up higher off of her finger. So that's gonna be something that we have to keep in mind when it comes to her lifestyle. I know a lot of my clients, they'll wear gloves for their work and something that large wouldn't necessarily be conducive to an everyday work environment type of ring. And look, there's nothing wrong with a diamond the size of Texas. It really just depends on what you love the most and what you feel comfortable wearing. Because ultimately this ring is meant to be treasured and you wanna feel comfortable and confident and excited to wear it every day. You know, having it be something that you just cannot stop staring at. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments because I'm really curious about your perspectives on this one. Something that I would love for you to do if you find yourself in this scenario as my client did is define your own success metric when it comes to the engagement ring. Think back to that moment when that ring box was open and it slipped on your finger and just that feeling that you had, that's really what you want to hold on to and capture because ultimately that is what this ring is all about. And it's just this foundation of your marriage together and the life that you're going to be building moving forward. I mean, we can't help ourselves by looking around at things that we're excited by or that catches our, our eyes, these aspirational pieces. I totally get it. So something I want to point out that if you do find yourself having these feelings, if you're in this situation, just know that it's just a feeling. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you superficial, no matter what someone might say in the comments about this. You know, we're marketed to with these products that we see all the time, right? And then they, they're all over Pinterest and all over all the different websites. And we just, they, they fill out the finger and you think, wow. And so then you look at your finger. And so uh, with whatever's on there at that moment, and if it's not just like all the ones that you're seeing all the time, then you might have some feelings about it. Just like her, she felt really guilty for even having the thought. And that isn't something that I want to be surrounding your engagement ring. That's really, it shouldn't be something that surrounds your engagement ring. It should be filled with that love and that joy that you originally experienced. It doesn't say anything about who you are as a person. It literally is just a thought and a feeling and you don't have to have that define you when it comes to what this ring represents. I really want you to focus on the meaning behind it and how it originally made you feel when you saw it. So let me know if this resonates with you. And if you're looking for your very own custom diamond ring, I would love to hear more about what you'd like to make. I create custom diamond rings for clients all over the world. It's my absolute joy to create something so special and collaborate with you one-on-one -on -one to create your dream ring. So feel free to reach out to vanessanicole.com and leave a comment below. I would love to hear what you thought about this video because this is just a really interesting time in the, the jewelry industry where we have just seen this incredible splash of lab-grown diamonds on the marketplace right now. And you know, there's, there's commentary from consumers and commentary from jewelers all around the world on this topic. And I'd love to hear your thoughts below. All right, take care, bye.